your lawnmower or small engine Honda GCV 160 is experiencing surging or a hunting idle, keep watching because this video explains how you can fix it and what is causing the problem. So as you can see, when uh, when we pulled the choke off, it uh, struggled for petrol and struggled for fuel. So that's the problem. It's a uh, it's a blocked jet. So we're gonna uh, pull the carby apart a little bit and clean the jets out with some carby cleaner. And uh, hopefully, once we throw out the jets, it'll start. It had a hunting idle. Um, basically, what that is, it, the idle fluctuates and. If it's bad enough, it stalls, it backfires, it doesn't run right. And so um, that's the problem that we've got. So we're going to have a look at what that is and how to fix it. So we access the carburetor by taking off the air intake. And then just behind it is the carburetor in there. So we're going to take all this off and then we'll show you where the jet is. Alrighty, now I've got, I've got the carburetor out. Alrighty, so to clean the main jet, we're going to take off this bolt here. Make sure it comes out. Little screw. Oh. Aha, uh -huh. see all the gunk there? That's a good sign of a blocked jet. The guy who I bought it off hadn't used it for a few months or 12 months or something like that, he was saying. So, um, going to clean it all up. As you can see, there's a lot of sediment at the bottom. And inside there is the jet. But that sediment and everything should not be inside your carburetor. So if you see that inside yours, it's a good sign that it needs a clean. Got an old ice cream container as a little guard. So I'm going to spray some carby cleaner. Let it break it all up a bit. Take out the pin. If it wants to come. So this is one thing that we can clean out. A little needle. Okay, so we've taken out the pin, put all the parts in there so we don't lose anything. Pop the bolt in as well. You clean the cubby and everything like that, you just use a little throttle and bo throttle body and cubby cleaner or you know any other brand's fine. Spray it in. Leave it in for a little bit just to let it soak up and then wipe it off with a rack. A clean one. You can see that on the float it's been caked by old fuel from sitting there, so we're going to clean all that off as well with a rag. As you can see, that it, once that goes in the jet, your jet's blocked and you're 
motor won't run. That'll break up all the stuff that's on it, so it'll be easy to wipe. So we cleaned that all up, it used to be yellow. Alright, so now we're going to take the actual jet out. So, to take the jet out you want a thin flathead screwdriver. And if you can see that inside, there's actually a, a spot for where the flathead can go in and twist it out. That shouldn't be too tight. But if we take this out, we'll then examine what it's looking like. Maybe it needs to screw all the way out. As you can see, it's a darker color, so that's not a good side already. But it's not coming out. We realized it was all gunked up, so I've been hitting it with this, with this wrench, and it's finally come out, so we, uh, we now don't have any jet inside. Completely clear. We've got the main jet here. Now, if we have a look, see those side holes on the left are fine, but the ones on the right are slightly blocked. Like that one there. See how there's meant to be two? So they're blocked, so I'm gonna stick some wire through those, get them all nice and fresh. We've also we've also gotten this one again. It didn't have a complete hole through, so we've cleared that out. So hopefully, hopefully after we clean this all out, it'll work nice and well. If not, we'll have to then do some more cleaning and probably flush the fuel tank and clean out the fuel tank as well. Um, but hopefully, all should be fine. So we've got them both soaking in a uh, carby cleaner there, hopefully they'll clean out. Um, we've sprayed sprayed the carby again, all through. Um, hopefully, hopefully that'll solve the problem. We'll probably wait another half an hour, get a real soaking through. Um, and then we'll fit it all back nicely ready for work for tomorrow finished cleaning out all the jets hopefully hopefully it'll all work and we'll test it tomorrow put it all back together tonight and uh, see if it all works on the job We finally got the uh, the pressure cleaner working. So again, it was the GCV 160 Honda engine. So basically, how we've got uh, stopped it from surging and uh, hunting and having a hunting idle. Basically, we've uh, done a complete service. So I've changed the oil um, that was quite black. Uh, on top of that. We've uh, pulled apart the carburetor twice. On both occasions, we've cleaned it out with uh, carby cleaner, etc. Still, though, after doing the carby cleans and everything, still having surging, still not running right, running really rough. But um, it was only until 
we put the carburetor and fuel injector cleaner inside the fuel. Uh, we used the brand called F10 that um, finally stopped the problem. So now um, it doesn't surge, it runs really smoothly, which is a good thing. Um, but yeah, so nice and simple fix. If you have a carby cleaner that um, is a fuel additive, I highly recommend to put it into your, uh, your machine. Um, this isn't a fuel stabilizer, it's a fuel cleaner. So it cleans out all your carburetor, all the gunk in it, etc. Um, I use it for cars as well. The one that I actually used was for cars. Um, however, as it's used for cars, it's a bit more potent. So you use uh, less of it when putting it into these smaller engines. But um, I've heard it's a very common problem for uh, Honda GCV 160 engines. They surge quite a bit. Um, but yeah, that that's the problem when you leave uh, machines like this for over 12 months. So when I purchased this machine, it had been left there for 18 months or 12 months in, uh, in storage and the guy didn't use it anymore so that's why I ended up buying it because I got it really cheap but um, yeah these are the these are the things that you take with buying second-hand equipment is sometimes they may not run right due to the owners wear and tear but um, hopefully that answers uh, uh, some of your problems if you have ever experienced this with your equipment and uh, hopefully you take something from it again use a fuel additive that will clean your carburetor and it'll run right Hope you enjoyed this video, if you did hit the thumbs up and as always subscribe to the channel for more videos all about lawn care. My name is Hayden and I shall catch you next time.